Good morning, everybody, and welcome to the vlog. I hope the start of your day is amazing. Obviously, I'm here with this little bush viper, of course, and Bruce, you may remember, Bruce actually came in, and this little monkey was actually a wild caught, right? Yes, yeah, so this is 100% wild caught, and, yeah. uh, and I, I, like, as you know, man, I, I was super paranoid about this one not making it, because it yep. was not eating for me. It wasn't doing anything. That was the main reason I brought him to you. Exactly, so, and, that, and that's when we actually tube fed him. If you guys remember, as a matter of fact, I'll put a card right up here if you want to go back and look at it. We actually tube this guy just a little bit of protein, some water, and then some medicine, some flagell. And I tell you what, so now what, how's it doing now? Dude, he's crushing he's every crushing week. Food he's eating now. food, dude. Like, and, and, and like, so I, so I feed him fuzzy mice. Actually, I have to give a shout out to Heidi for this one because she actually did help me a little bit on, on deciding what size to feed. Right. She actually suggested that I might have been feeding a little too small. Oh, so, so okay, it needs a little bit bigger. You know, it's funny, a lot of snakes are like that. You know, say baby Kenyan sambos, if you feed it a pinky, which is what it looks like it should eat, it literally isn't interested. But if you throw like a fuzzy in it, for some reason it's about the rolling around as opposed to kind of like, you know, walking a little bit. So that's interesting that it works. So. Which makes sense because, you know, you have a lot of stigmas in your head. Like such a small animal is probably only eating like, I mean, for instance, like we know like copperheads eat like cicadas in the wild and things right. like that. So I'm thinking like bugs, so the small little, little things. But man, he crushes a fuzzy mouth pretty good. That is awesome. And of course, these guys are some of my favorite snakes. I mean, again, they're front fang venomous animal. So they have those those uh, pressurized venom systems in there. And those teeth are pretty big for this little tiny guy. Ooh, scary looking too, <laughs> <That's right>. <laughs> And again, these are a pit viper. So again, you can see the little pits at the front of their mouth. That is actually keying on the thermal, right? So whenever something comes in front of it, he knows that it's there. And that's when he's gonna strike. Heavily nocturnal animals. So these guys are opportunistic feeders. Gonna be up in the trees, obviously. You're gonna, you, with this isn't a tree in Africa, you're never even gonna see this oh thing, God, right? No. I mean, it's so absolutely camouflaged. One of my favorite vipers of all time for sure. So I'm so happy that our treatment that we did together here just a few months ago really worked well and that this guy is crushing it now and is doing well. Again, I'm not telling you guys you should ever do that on your own because we have to tube it, we have to be very careful. Uh, I've been working with venomous snakes for a long time. Bruce has been working with venomous snakes for a long time. But if you have the proper care, proper veterinary care, you can see you can save an animal that wasn't eating like this one. So uh, it's just absolutely amazing. Thanks Bruce for bringing it in and kind of giving us the update because this thing is a beauty, dude. Oh, dude, man, I think I gotta say thank you again so oh. much for, for number one, letting me bring him in, but again, also helping me out with this. Oh. I really, really appreciate it. Man. Oh, I'm so happy it's doing good. So that's a good way to start the day with this cute little monkey. All right, always fun times. Today is fish day here for the monitor lizard. So Bruce is gonna be giving everyone fish. And, and I tell you, for some reason, whenever we switch up to fish, which we do as often as we possibly can, they love it. I mean, especially like the water monitors and all that stuff, they go crazy for fish. So uh, let's just go ahead and have fun and see these guys have a little tree. Fresh cod too. I'll cut these myself. Fresh cod? These are yeah. these are Michigan, homegrown Michigan. Uh, all right. Yeah. <laughs> That's the way to go. So uh, this is from Bruce Saunders to us. Come on, baby boy. Come on. Fire! Oh, he's oh. going to be so happy. Look at that big oh. fish. Oh. <laughs> oh my gosh, he is so excited. Skin and all. Oh, this is great. And again, you know, switching up stuff like this is really good for them. There's a lot of vitamins and minerals that are in fish that you don't get with, say, chicken or beef. So this is really important. And water monitors in particular are going to eat a lot of fish in the wild, of course, because they're in the water a tremendous amount. Here he comes. Come on, be motivated, be motivated. You can do it, you can do it, you can do it. Get up there. Come on, oh, big hefty, big hefty. That's all yours. All right, That's on. all, you earned that one, big guy. You earned that one. Good job, buddy. <laughs> oh, he's in love, he's loving it. You guys know I love Elvis a tremendous amount, and this thing is the coolest animal, and he is super excited about his fish for today. Next up is our girl, Obasuku. Again, she loves fish too. Again, Nile monitors, you don't think of being really fish eaters that much in the wild, because they, you know, they will eat some fish, but it's not as high of a diet as, say, the water monitors, but still, Obasuku loves it. So let's go ahead and see what she's got going on. You can tell she's smelling it too. Yeah, she's, she's like, oh. Up. <laughs> she's like, oh, I can see something coming. Didn't even say a ball. <laughs> here she comes, here she comes. The fire. There you go, girl. Good girl. Oh my gosh, Good look girl. at how cool. Good girl. Hey, girl. Come on, take that. There you go. Oof, juicy. Oof. Oh, I think yeah. I got a little bit of my mouth. Tail, uh, <laughs> tail. <laughs> good job. <laughs> tail and all, she's got it. Oh, that's so good for her. She's like, oh, I'm just gonna take it over here and run away. Just so that you guys, like a dog with a treat, right? I'm gonna hide over here so you don't take my food away from me. She is so adorable. 
We actually took a bunch of the little baby turtles out because, you know, they need more floating, like more air. As we found out, they were getting kind of stressed out having only a handful of things. So what we did was we actually foamed some just pieces of polyurea right here, and then these will actually float. But of course, it's a little bit too much here. So what I'm gonna do is just shave these down this way, and then these will go in here, and then we could put the turtles back in, and they'll have a lot more surface area because they need to get out of the water, right? So we found that out kind of just through the fact that they seem to be getting stressed out, that they didn't have enough air to go. So we made a whole bunch of these. So all I'm going to do is just shave it down a little bit, see if they float really well, and then we can put the turtles back in. As you can see, they have tons of places now for them to get up on, you know, just kind of the surface because, you know, little babies need to be out of the water a bunch and they just kind of bask. You know, we have a UVB light here. Actually going to add another one. We also have a heater in here to heat the water up. So uh, all together, the environment should be pretty good for them. Now that they can get out of the water, I think they're going to be a lot happier. And uh, I think that that was a success. And what we'll probably go back is, you see how we have some moss on this one right here? We'll probably go back and put some moss on these so it kind of almost looks a little bit more like a natural pond. So I uh, just wanted to make sure it works. And if it's working good in the next couple days, we'll go back and we'll kind of just kind of touch them up and make them look even prettier. What are you doing, you silly monkey? What are you doing? Looks like she's attempting to multitask. <laughs> what are you doing? I love how she's just like chewing on it. Like she's like likes the taste or something. Again, you don't think about that that much. Uh, usually she just golfs stuff down. So uh, it's pretty cool that she's actually getting some enjoyment out of it. Again, fish is something we don't feed them all that often. So when they get it, they seem to love it for sure. The other day we actually fed Beetlejuice. You guys remember he loved the hornworms. Now he gets the treat of a fish. So I think he's going to actually love it. So let's see what we can do. Of course, Bruce works with Beetlejuice more than anybody. So he has it pretty good as far as the social. Socialization. You see Beetlejuice will come right over because he's probably thinking, hey, I'm going to get some food. And I think he's really going to like this treat, of course, which will be little pieces of fish with the skin on and everything. So you see how cool, look at how great Beetlejuice is doing. Really getting to that more curious stage. And here we go. Oh, oh yeah. Immediately loves it. Good job, Bruce. Oh he's definitely God. getting there, isn't he? Dude, he's coming along. And I, I'm so proud of him too, man. Like, I, could, yeah. I couldn't be more excited with an animal than this guy. He's yeah. like, dude, you're... You're making me emotional. I really, now I'm, I really am. Like I'm so excited in him as his progress. Like you're, you're just, you're a freaking him. monster. And he's just coming <laughs> out. He's starting to gain that confidence. You want the bucket? Go ahead, go on in there, buddy. He's like, I don't know what that bucket is. I've never seen that. <laughs> he's before. like, I trust the tongues, not the bucket. <laughs> there you go, bud. Oh, that's a big piece, bro. Come on, get that one. There you go. <laughs> what a good piece. Oh, now he's gonna do the abuzuku and take it away. I'm gonna hide from you guys. Oh, look at him go golf. That's oh. he figured it out a lot better. Yeah, <laughs> did. yeah oh, abuzuku took a while. He took it. Took about two. He took about two seconds to figure that one out. Here he comes. He is really motivated. Look at that. Oh, and here he goes. Fall down. All right, buddy. Awesome, man. Beetlejuice is definitely, you can see how far he's come. Not going to be long before we'll be able to take him out with the public and really interact with him. I, I give it a couple more months and we're going to be there. You know, it stays like this where we're just kind of having a good time, feeding animals, uh, getting the enjoyment of it. That's It's just the cool part of our job, you know. I mean, we're always cleaning and doing stuff and construction and all kinds of stuff. So the feeding part and, of course, interacting part is the funnest part of all. But uh, we can see a Bowser. He's kind of back in the back there. Might be a little hard to get him over here. Uh, we I know Bowser loves fish but when he's back there, it's a little hard to coax him over, so we'll do the best we can do. Oh, oh, we got him coming, we got him coming. Look at he's on the prowl now. Here he comes, the monster. Oh, that's so cool. He really does love him some fish. Get it, get it, get it, Bowser. And there he goes, he just, after all of that, he just like 
gently takes it. I mean, this guy does seem to be getting like more and more docile. He doesn't seem to ever strike or anything like that now. And uh, now he'll just go right back into his spot. So that actually was cool, Bruce. I've never seen him coming out like that. Normally once he's in the back, he's done for the day. So uh, that was cool to see him actually kind of almost hunt, right? Because these guys are ambush hunters. That's why they've got that little tongue and stuff like that. So to see him come for a fish, that yeah. was pretty awesome. He was moving. That was that awesome. Was crazy about that. And the last animal that's going to get a little fish treat today, of course, is Baby Kush, the croc monitor. Baby Kush loves loves love fish so this should be really good and again these are good things not only for a variety and stuff like that but also our opportunity to train stuff so Bruce will get inside spend some time with baby Kush kind of desensitizing socializing stuff like that so already baby Kush looks like uh, he's looking like hey what's going on I'm about to get fed aren't I? I actually want him to come right here so oh he's going to come over there all right cool try to. come on baby Kush here he comes he's ball trained obviously really well so he's targeted on that red ball. You can see he's coming down for sure. We're gonna to try to get him all the way down to the bottom here. It looks like it's gonna be pretty easy. Oh yeah, he's all over it. Oh, he got the ball now. Let go, buddy. Throw the ball. There we go. Velociraptor's almost out of the cage. It's almost out of the paddock. <laughs> <laughs> Clever girl. <laughs> Clever girl. <laughs> and look at that. That animal has no problem scarfing that down like nothing. Look at that. All right, definitely coming a long way. Listen, we've got a long way to go still with Baby Kush because the penalty is so bad if you get bitten. But you can see he's definitely come a long way. He's not upset. He's not nervous around us. He can come right up to us. He's just focused on feeding and right here at the front of the cage. Again, a couple months ago, this would have been impossible to do. So uh, definitely getting much closer. And Bruce is spending some time in with Baby Kush too. And it's coming up right and like climbing up his leg and stuff like that. So we're getting there slowly but surely. We'll get there. Eventually, this is going to be a dragon that we're going to have tamed, I can promise you that. You guys can see uh, I, I honestly think he ate, this went as bad as well as it possibly could I mean you can even tell he's actually thinking a little bit he's, he's processing this little opportunity and even better hasn't bit me yet now I'm gonna say yeah he's still a baby he's pretty unpredictable at this point but man I, that was kind of cute he ate a little bit for me he even let me actually pull him out without what not without a whole lot of struggle and uh, man, he's just cute as a button too. So I'm happy to see that that bush viper is actually on the mend, doing well and stuff like that. It only took one treatment, which I was super happy about. If you enjoyed this video, do me a favor. Here's a playlist of a bunch of really cool reptiles. If you could just even click one or two of those, really helps the channel a tremendous amount and I appreciate that. Up here, you can subscribe to my podcast channel that we do a few times a week. Over here, we're getting close to three million, so please subscribe to this channel and turn your post notifications on. Have an absolutely wonderful day. Remember, be kind to someone and I promise I'll see you tomorrow.